YouTube. Hope you guys had an awesome 2015. Today I wanted to compile all the beauty, hair, and skin products that I've been enjoying this year and kind of talk about it in one big video. Um, it might be kind of a long one, so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with hair products. I am a very, very lazy hair person and I'm not the type to, you know, buy a treatment and then leave it in my hair and then try a new one and just wait. I just feel like that's like a really big hassle. Instead of using treatment, I get good shampoo and conditioner because that's what you use every day, every other day, or however often you wash your hair. And I think that's the stuff that really does make a difference for your hair, especially for lazy people like me. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Tsubaki Damage Care by Shiseido. Um, the shampoo and conditioner has been my favorite for the past three years now. Every time I switch off to different things and come back to this, um, I always just, you know, love it. Um, it makes your hair really, really soft and also very light at the same time. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It smells amazing and I feel like over time it does improve the quality of your hair. Um, I see lesser split ends and had my hair feel a lot stronger over time. So this is definitely an awesome set to try. The second thing I'm going to be suggesting is the Paul Mitchell Super Strong Daily Conditioner. And even though this is a daily conditioner, it is super, super moisturizing. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the smell, but it just helps my hair um, a lot more, especially after I've bleached it, it gets tangled really easily. Um, I'm assuming it's going to break pretty soon-ish. Um, I just cut off all the damaged parts, but um, bleached it all over again. And I'm assuming that it's going to be all week and start getting break, uh, break edge. So I wanted a shampoo or conditioner that can help strengthen my hair. And so far, I've been really liking it. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend trying this one as well. If there was one product in the whole entire video that I would suggest you buy, it is the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo in the L Luscious Rose Scent. There's a regular one and it does not work the same as the rose one. I don't know why. It's like a different formula or something. It comes out almost kind of like a hair hairspray. You just spray it on. It's kind of like wet and once it dries, it takes away all the grease in your hair and it smells like rose. I don't know what kind of magic they put in this bottle, but I'm totally sold. This is like my holy grail hair product. It saved me so many times when I'm like late and don't have time to wash my hair or if my hair just looks a little grease greasy at the roots and I just need a little boost me up. This is my the first makeup product that I'm going to be talking about today is the Ethu House Precise Mineral BB Cream and it has SPF 30 whitening, anti-wrinkle, and anti-darkening purposes. Um, here I have the shade W24 and that's what I have on my face right now. It's a really good everyday BB cream. It doesn't break you out. It has very decent coverage while being very natural on your face. And for me, I've slept in this BB cream many times um, and it hasn't broke me out, which is pretty amazing. A lot of foundations will break me out if I accidentally sleep with it. This doesn't and um, I really really enjoy it. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher in the color First Love. Um, it is this rosy brownish uh, pinkish color and I have it on my cheeks right now. Um, I think it's really fun to play with. It works really well for a contour. Um, I'm usually not a blush person because I don't like having too many bright colors on my face but this is very subtle and it's very pigmented and very easy to work with. So if you're looking for a new blush, um, I would definitely suggest this one. Another Etsy House product I have here. This is the Prism Eye Cream Eyeshadow Base and I got it in this orangey metallic color. It also has a bit of shimmer. I already swatched it for you guys on my hand. It's really easy to work with with other eyeshadows and it stays on really well. I wore it every day during summer and fall and even though it was really humid in Asia, this eyeshadow still stayed on my eyelid for the whole day. So this has got to be my favorite eyeshadow to work with this year. Next thing I have here is the Anna Sui Eyebrow Color Compact and uh, what I love about it, first of all it has a really cute bow packaging. Uh, when you open it there is a mirror on the side and there is a little brush inside the kit so it's super super portable. 
Um, there is a big block of dark brown color along with some other shades that you can work with. And um, what's cool about this is that I didn't mention it on the description when I bought it, but um, it smells like roses when you open it. Even though I've had it, even though I've had it for a couple of months now. Um, the rose scent is still there and it just smells really, really nice. The packaging, uh, the smell, and the quality of the powder is actually really good too. Um, so that's why this is my favorite eyebrow product of the year. You've probably seen this product a bajillion times on YouTube already, but here I have the Bioderma Cleaning Water. Um, again, it is perfect for lazy people like me who sometimes is just too lazy to wash their face before they go to sleep and take off their makeup. And I have this right next to my bedside. Um, it takes off face makeup really well you don't have to wash it afterwards it's not as good with eye makeup so usually I would use a eye makeup remover and then use this to catch the residue and take off my face makeup uh, run it twice just to make sure you get everything off and so far I've been really really liking the convenience of this Next thing I'm going to be talking about is the Clear Care Cleaning and Disinfecting Solution. Um, it is a contact solution. It works with RPG lenses, it works with soft lenses, it works with color contacts, whatever contacts you may be using. It comes with these designated contact cases and there is a metal part on the bottom that neutralizes the solution so you have to have to use this. One downside to this contact solution is that you have to leave it in the case for at least six hours or else it will burn your eyes and you will go blind and you will not be able to see. Okay, fine, it's not that serious, but still, it really does hurt if you um, take it out of the case and put it in your eye before it is ready, so do not do that. After using this contact solution, no other solution feels as clean and a lot of my friends who's tried it uh, has switched over, so definitely recommend it to those who use contacts. So that wraps up the video. Um, I use these products every day or at least every day for some part of this year and none of it was sponsored. It was all bought with my own money. I really, really think there are good products to try so hopefully you guys pick some of it up and please let me know if you guys like them. 2015 has been a really great year for me. Um, there's some rocky bottoms that I hit during the beginning of the year and during summer I did break my foot in a foreign country all by myself. But I did have the squad there for me. I did have people um, that I met this year that were just amazing people and made 2015 the most amazing year ever so i want to thank everyone who's been a part of my life this year and i hope all of you have an amazing 2016 have a happy happy new year and i'll talk to you guys next time Whew, that was a long video